Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. How many ears are there on a corn plant? Well, during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about this question because there are a lot of non-farmers that may not know that you could actually have many ears on every corn plant. Well, you could, but are you going to? When you go out to a cornfield, if you just happen to stop along the road, walk into a cornfield and start counting how many ears are on each plant, chances are you're going to see one, yep. one per plant. Now you might see two, but it's very unusual that you see more than that, even though if you tore that corn plant apart at each node, you've got a potential there to have an ear. So why don't we have more ears than just one or two? Well, it's really stress related. So let's just say that the one corn plant that you have is all by itself. There's nothing within 10 feet of it. You probably would see several ears on that corn plant, but because we plant so many corn plants together, there's only so much that that plant can do to get sunlight, to get energy, food, water, all that. And so that's why usually there's just one ear on the corn plant. Look at end rows, for example, or right on the very end, that's where we usually do see two ears. You get out into the field and we see one. So anyway, I, I guess the other big thing that we wanted to say here is, you can actually have probably eight ears on that corn plant, maybe 10, something like that. So what we'd encourage you to do if you've never done this before is just take a corn plant, slice it down the middle and look for ear shoots at every node. So you'll see that all the way from the bottom of the plant, at least up to the ear leaf and where the main ear is at, maybe even a little above that. Yeah, the other thing that we'll see is sometimes the ears are great big, sometimes they're kind of small, sometimes they fill all the way out to the end, sometimes they don't. And we get lots of questions around this. Well, is this why we have two ears because the ears are smaller? Or is this why there's only one ear because it's really big? Not necessarily. That plant has just got one job and that one job is to produce seed. And so the plant is going to fill out as many ears as it thinks it can. And for most farmers, that means it's going to be one because the plant's like, eh, I don't know if I got enough water and enough plant food and everything else to do this. But as Brian mentioned, if you do have enough sunlight, plant food and water, that plant might think things are good enough to put that second ear in. So sometimes you can have two ears that are both great big ears. Sometimes those ears are smaller. It just really depends on what kind of year they get. Here's the other kind of interesting thing with modern corn now, you're usually ahead to plant a higher population and only have one ear per plant as opposed to a much lower population and seeing two ears per plant. You can generally maximize yield by having the higher population and just one ear per plant. So this is part of the reason why you might say, well, wait a second, if I could have eight ears, how about if I just plant one plant every 10 feet and let's go that way? You're just not gonna maximize yield. Well, corn plants can vary. Sometimes they have one ear, sometimes they have more than one ear in fields. Let's hope that our weed of the week doesn't vary and produce even more seed as well, because it's already tough enough to fight. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <laughs> 